This week, East Bay Park authorities uh, discovered two bodies. There is no question in our minds that the uned uh, unidentified female is Lacey Peterson. The unidentified fetus is the biological child of Lacey and Scott Peterson. What's up, guys? So today I'm out here at Point Isabel Park out here in Richmond in the East Bay. And this is actually going to be my first follow-up video that I'm doing for you guys. So if you haven't seen my um, Scott and Lacey Peterson's home video, I'll put that in the description. But today I'm actually going to show you where Lacey's body was discovered out here in the Berkeley Marina. So April 14th, 2003 about four months after Lacey went missing. Okay, so authorities would have found her body here in the Berkeley Marina, but I was never really sure exactly where. You just always hear Berkeley Marina, her body was found, but never really paid attention to where it was at. So now I've kind of narrowed down where it was at by things in the background that you can see on the news articles and the videos. Um, so we'll try and compare. I'm gonna get over here and let you guys see. San Francisco Bay. This is where they would have discovered um, Lacey Peterson at. Her body would have washed up here in this general area where I'm gonna get to here. So you got the Golden Gate Bridge right there in the background. I tried to zoom in as best as I can right there. And then this is the San Francisco skyline. So I'm not going to get to Connor's location where they found him. But I'm going to try and cover his best where um, actually just Lacey's torso that washed up. She didn't have a head or legs or anything like that. And I want to say Connor's body washed up across the bay near those houses. Uh, they found him actually the day before they found a refinery or something in the background right here that you can match up with from the old um, news videos. So that's how I'm able to tell that it's in this location here. So it's going to be that building right there. You can see it. So other than that building too, there's also some houses in the background and I'll zoom in on that in just a second here and you can kind of compare that as well. You can see that in the background from the original news footage as well. That's where the media would have been filming at from that general area. So I want to say that it was in this location. There's a couple locations that I'm going to show you, but I think it was that location right there where she would have washed up. I want to say it was right up here somewhere. So I'm going to show you another location to the left where it could have been as well. I'm gonna actually get up here on these rocks and try and show you that. So it could have been right there as well. But I think it might have been in that first place that I showed you off to the right, right here. So just another shot of the water there. And I'm pointing because I think that's where I was uh, saying that they would have found Connor off that area the day before. So it's definitely an interesting debate. It's not a 
slam dunk case, I guess. There's a lot of people that were actually on my last video debating whether Scott actually did it. So feel free to um, leave comments and everything below your opinions on what you believe happened. So I'm going to come over here just a little bit, but that wind was a little too strong. But anyway, um, hey, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I definitely want to get out here and hit you guys up with some more videos.